Well, YouTube, apparently it's 2021. Who'd have thought we'd have made it this far, but here we are. So today, <clears throat> I'm making a lamp, because I need to make a lamp. If the customer wants a lamp, I will make a lamp. First job, I've got to find a piece of wood big enough to make a lamp. Let's have a look, shall we? Come to the firewood pile. This is a lot of work here, which I've not started yet. But I have found this. This is silver birch. And I know for a fact, looking at this, it's gonna be super spalted. So what do you think, YouTube? Should we make a super spalted silver birch lamp? I think, yes. Let's do it. All right, folks, after some uh, slightly nerve wracking time on the saw of death back there on the tractor, we've got this big old piece of silver birch. Not as much spalting as I thought there was gonna be, but there should be still some nice coloring in it. You can see a little bit of spalting here and there. So now we have gotta make it look like a lamp. So the first thing to do, what is the first thing to do? find the center uh, and then drill a hole woodworm screw what do you think folks so I just drill a mortise into it hmm you'll find out in a minute all right we've got it uh, mounted 400 rpm I think I probably put this bit of wood on backwards, which is quite annoying. Uh, but never mind. Just give myself a little bit more work to do in the second part of this. So well, let's turn this bottom bit here into a base. Get a bit closer now, can't we? Um... Uh -huh. 
Where are we up to? We've got this massive chunk of um, silver birch. Roughly turned down to round. I've got a rough bottom on it and a mortise in it. I'm just gonna sand up the mortise um, and finish this bottom face, maybe up to about here. Because it's slightly off center because my tail stock is very slightly off center again. So uh, I'm gonna do that and then we're gonna flip it around and start making it look a little bit more lampy. Try that one.
Right, I'm done with the shaping. This is bloody cold. Tongue wax, Brad's workbench. So, I'm just gonna chuck it everywhere. <clears throat> Let it sit for uh, 15 minutes, maybe half an hour. Come back and buff it up, and then this portion of the lamp is finished. Don't be shy with tongue wax, boy. Some lovely colours coming out. All right, that's pretty soft wood, so I put an absolute lot on. Oakley dokely. That's that part done. Now that might make a nice little desk lamp, but it's not quite big enough for what I want. So next bit is a copper tube. A tube coming out here with another little bit of wood on the end. And that's where the, uh, the lamp part of it is going to go. Let's see how we get on with that then. As you can see, I've made myself a little copper tube holder and it sort of works. <laughs> There's a little bit of a bend because this is not quite um, flush, but this will enable me to uh, polish up this copper pipe. So that's what we're going to do next. Right, I found my polish. This is chrome polish, but it should do what it needs to do. Liberal coating. Right, let's try not to get it in my eyes. Well, that's pretty cool. Alright, there's my copper tube. There's my copper tube. Just want to wipe down, get the fingerprints off it. That's done. So it's got to turn the top piece. We can assemble this lamp. So here is the piece that's going to become our top part. It's made of the same piece of uh, spalted silver birch. Now I'm going to be turning it that way. Drill a hole through it. Make it look nice. What more can you say? That's, uh, that's really all we're doing here. So let's crack on. Okay, first job here. Let's get it round and put a tenon on it. Right, I've drilled my hole in the back, but I've not gone all the way through because it actually wants a 10 mil hole in the top. Uh, and I can't drill my 10 mil until it's this way round. Blah, blah, blah. So let's do that then. That was nice and simple.
Right, interesting. How am I going to fix that colossal mess? Answers on a postcard, please. Great start. Now, get in there. Well, that's better. Yeah. Okay, <clears throat> that's about as good as that's gonna get. Now the idea is, our uh, copper pipe just sits in there, like that. All right, so that's how that will fit together. Boop, boop. I'm gonna look at it for a bit, see if I like it. Now then, now then, time to finish this beast off. I've cut an inch and a half off this little pipe here and uh, we're going to glue it in. Okay, that's got <coughs> some glue in that hole. Does it look straight? No. What about now? You got it? Yeah, it doesn't look too bad. That's the attitude you want when you're doing high quality pieces of work, by the way. <laughs> now, that'll do usually pop. I'll let that sit now for a few minutes to mm. go off before I turn it upside down. Otherwise, it's going to make a mess. This is going to be a delicate operation. I've got to get some glue down in here. I think we've got a winner. Quick, quick, quick! Get that little plooper down there. Nice and tight to fit that one in on the end. Well, it's too late now, folks. Well, there it is, folks, for better or worse. It's a lamp. Now follows probably the best light box shots you've ever seen in your life. See you on the next one.